The Russian tanks came uh, in, I guess it was the 27th of January of 1945. Uh, my father had been working in Birkenau. My mother was in Auschwitz and uh, everybody heard the sound. They knew that the war was coming to an end, but nobody knew when. The Russians came, they opened the gates and uh, nobody really knew what to do at first, but then everybody left. They just walked out pretty much in a daze. And there was a forest nearby and uh, my father went to one section, my mother went to another. And as the story goes, my mother was sitting and crying terribly. And you can imagine how emaciated she looked. And my father walked up to her and told her how beautiful she was. And he said, you have the most beautiful blue eyes. And then they just walked off and he said he would take care of her. And he did. They were the only ones that survived their families. And they had my sister there. They had me in Montreal. And uh, so between us, they were two children. We each had three, which me meant six, six grandchildren. And now there's 12 great-grandchildren. And it's a wonderful family. And all the kids are great. And the grandkids are great. And it's, it's a delight. And who would have thought from the ashes, from the ashes,